An unforgiving sun-baked desert in southern Africa is a tough place for family. Leading them through good times and bad of life in the Kalahari. Life hasn't always been easy. She gave birth great to her 13th litter. It's Swift's job to produce pups, but it will be the responsibility of the whole family with a trusted babysitter. Today, that job falls to one of Swift's unusually high rainfall in this spot, encourages all sorts of delicacies. She's been in charge of Hakuna Matata for less than a year. She too is descended from flower. A sand snake is not the deadliest predator, but it's enough to raise an alarm. Outnumbered and overwhelmed, the intruder turns the tail. temperature rises. Swift allows her now well-fed family a welcome midday break. Romeo sneaks off in a different direction. that's catnip to roving males. And right now, she's more interested oh, in... Oh, wait. A battalion of boys stands between Lila... Fortunately for Epsilon, help is at hand. Their cunningly camouflaged eggs would be a delicious afternoon snack for the hungry clan. As the sun begins to set on the day, the rest of Lilac's family are making their way. Experience life beyond the burrow. Everybody is itching to get out. <gasps> ...under pressure, keeping her Hakuna Matata family out of harm's way. ...is where the heart is. But a home must also provide protection Everybody is itching to get out and escort them on this. It's time to quit the flea pit. More practice attracting girls, but he's an old hand at sentry duty. Not as easy as it looks. Looks big enough for two. For everyone's safety, she needs to keep her family close Feeling and keep them moving. And it's Flint's job to solve the problem. Suddenly, Lilac sounds an alarm. And using the undergrowth for cover, leads her family onwards. Marching on. She needs to find a place with better prospects for her growing family. It's taking its toll on his old bones, so he's glad of a rest too. And boasts multiple entrances. Someone's been here. The pups badly need to get their heads down for the night. Tata's burrow. Pregnant Flint Lockwood has a decision. The Whiskers pups move to a new burrow for the first time. <laughs> Chaos, property theft, and a fearsome. The great rains than the whiskers patch. And growing in confidence. 
Swift is in the happy position of having older daughters who can help feed the voracious appetites of her pups. But any bit for leadership. Paradise, dangers are lurking. Daisy's approach is more Wild West than Desert Rose, preferring to stay out of the gang's antics. And the breeze is cool, and the grub still plentiful. Is a worrying sight. Swooping in to snatch the abandoned grub. And fight to win it back. It's a tough call. Flint Lockwood is starting to prove her mettle not just as a leader. There is nothing. Swift has chosen an unconventional location for the whiskers. Fresh water Flint's quest for a birthing burrow led Hakuna Matata back to their old territory. The opulence of summer has given way to the poverty the water of tank winter. burrow. Swift's older daughters, Pandy and Epsilon, begin Injured and defeated, Swift. as the whiskers struggle to feed themselves, Pandy's lack of With the balance of power shifting back to their mother, Pandy and Epsilon are left with little choice but to surrender. Across the manor, Leader of the Abu She's now eyeing up land that belongs to another rival clan. Thanks to her partner, Finnick. And where a matriarch goes, her family follows. they can find it. The only problem is this watering hole already has its regulars. So Swift will accept the compromise for now. Within moments, they are mobbing the burrow entrance. But Daisy pulled it off. Three weeks ago, deep inside this network of tunnels, beauties, Flint Lockwood is on the warpath, and she's ready to take it out on someone. Did coup? Whiskers leader Swift gave birth to new members of the family. Return of the Zulus. They're a little twitchy. Eventually, Wren clocks what's going on. He's learned a thing or two about how to sidle up to check out all the single ladies. But Wren has no intention of alerting her family to the rover. First. All this hanging around is eating into valuable foraging time. And at this time of year... Foolhardy as it may seem, in family life, everyone must play their part. Flint can't trust her sisters aren't already pregnant, so she's on Flint's the offense. steely eye locks onto censure.
It's on a Ubuntu's patch. Your boys, I'm going to stand for this. Suddenly remember what they're supposed to be doing. Fortunately, their little misdemeanor has... The attraction appears to be mutual. Lurking on the periphery, an anxious censure watches her family prepare to settle in. She's fine by Swift, as long as she can do it all, lying down. The hope of survival lies in finding a partner. A localized dust storm is blowing up on Whiskers. Laker and Fly were left in charge of Swift's pups at the Whiskers Cattle Pen Burrow. Since being cast out, Censure has endured four long days and cold nights. But she won't allow her back while she's still a threat to her pups. With no one to groom her, Censure is riddled with ticks. Swift's three pups remain at their unconventional nursery burrow. Explore beyond the burrow, it's becoming harder to keep little Ragnar, Rollo and Floki safe while you stay behind to look after your little brothers. <laughs> to keep them out of trouble, Bones corrals them into the nursery, leaving Luna... <laughs> a rival gang would Censure could, could be the break that Censure desperately needs. It's time to go. It's like young lovers Lilac and Censure are also in for the long haul. Risk death on the road? Or take a serious beating. But she also knows that until they reach the new burrow, her pups are vulnerable to her. That's enough drama for one day. Swift must now get the pups. The poor lad finally runs out of steam. For Censure and Lilac, it's the morning back to her own family and is unlikely to survive. Unforgiving sun-baked desert in southern Africa is a tough place to raise a family. Now, the true story of her bloodline continues. Forcefully evicted her sister, Sentra. And today is one of those days. She's chosen a burrow with as much cover as can be found round here and the family. Leadership entails making tough decisions. Daisy, she's trouble with a capital T. Daisy lost the last battle with Flint's family. Further south, the whiskers are also struggling in the searing temperatures. <laughs> But Bria either hasn't heard the calls or has chosen to ignore them. Hey, son, when you're so close to giving birth is madness. <laughs> giving up her pressure. And while it's nice to hang out with a fellow old timer, naturally curious. <laughs> It's an opportunity to... She had no idea just how much she was going to need them. In her very pregnant state, she can't risk being attacked and is forced to stay at a safe distance. Swift is desperate to find her precious partner, Bria. Bria has found his way back to his family. The family conducts an investigation. Shattered Flint waits up top. It's Flint's evicted sister, Sentra. 
back after being cast out for posing a deadly threat to Flint's past. So is her return an attempt to rejoin the family? Swift had a crisis on her hands when partner Bria went missing on the hottest day. But is she intent on reconciliation or something more sinister? It's been three weeks since Flint gave birth. But there's no... Because it means Flint's pups are alive and well. While Munchkin is distracted, she makes her way in by another entrance. Plover eggs for breakfast would make a delicious change of menu. They now have a chick. Is a sitting duck. Sencha's motives are finally revealed. But just as one family member returns, another is thinking of leaving. And there's time for a moment's contemplation while everybody else sleeps. The stress will very likely kill her unborn pups. Maybe one of Daisy's ladies stole his heart during the recent battle. They've already seen off Belphegor's brother, Shandy. So Scar is in no mood for any more chances. An opportunity has arisen for the youngest members of the family, Rollo, Ragnar, and Floki. Lilac gives the same standby bark, and everyone waits for the bird. Scar has Mr. Worldwide and his older brothers keeping guard over all the girls. As they desperately seek refuge anywhere they can find. As the day wears on, there's still no sign of them. And another explanation becomes possible. For Weatherwax, Og, Grebo, and Havelock, there's a lot. Something about the burrow doesn't smell right. Whiskers crown. Kicked off in style, with Daisy's Ubuntu girls becoming moving targets As for her Hakuna most Matata. senior subordinate. As the breeding season heats up in the Kalahari, family changes are under. Those departing must make smart choices. During the end of her pregnancy, and is going to need all the babysitting help she can get with her third litter this year. And if she's been seduced by a rover, she could also be pregnant. But could she really consider giving treacherous Pandy another chance? To hang out for every frisky young buck on the manor. But woe betide anyone who falls. It's all getting a bit much. But it's her son, Mikkel, who hits the jet. Together, this foursome has enormous potentials. Him. The chemistry just isn't there. Leaving this, there'll be no pandering to Pandy. Oh. Job done, Swift resumes the day's other priorities. Sort is preoccupying the last of Daisy's missing daughters, the native. Father, a few more. Unfortunately, the he's surrounded by spring fever. As long as Ricky doesn't challenge her, Wren will most likely be crowned leader. The biggest threat she faces is not from rovers, but from her closest kin. Ubuntu girls Ricky and Wren hooked up with Hakuna Matata boys Belphegor and his Whiskers. nephew Gert. Heavily pregnant Swift ruthlessly evicted her treacherous daughters Pandy and Mercy.
The neighbours, a pair of ground squirrels, are putting on quite a show. And she gives her young nephew a fine demonstration of her eviction technique. He's welcome back with a good dowsing of Hakuna Matata scent. But if Girk has returned home, what's happened to Ren, Ricky? Now that she's over halfway through her pregnancy, the new pups are safely underground, but for the next 48 hours, they're at their most vulnerable. It's exhausting for the new mum, whose responsibilities were demanding enough before this. With Girk already home, it seems the it's a setback, but a seasoned rover simply brushes himself down and starts again. She can make amends with mum. Maybe it's a new evictee to try his luck with. The Whiskers are making the most of the bounty the Reigns have provided. His family. It turns out she's embarking on an audacious strategy. Yet again, a female's fate is sealed. But the sap is causing eye infections when sharp eyes are needed more than ever. Swift gave birth to her 15th litter, but faced a childcare crisis of her own times. making. Two months of rain have transformed the manor. Every change in the environment makes it extremely difficult to see or be seen. Og, Weatherwax, Grebo and Havelock are still vulnerable. To throwing her weight around. And, and it's some weight. <laughs> the tall grass is causing similar problems for the whiskers. The pups are now old enough to move with the rest of the family, so Swift can lead them to a better place to stay. Swift would do well to remember that. The adventures curtailed by the long grass, young Girk is patiently helping his aunties babysit the new kid. Then Yasha, Mooncake, Reef, Instead. and May. She can't afford anything to go wrong. And no one seems to know what to do. Whatever life is in the nest is ruthlessly snuffed out. He seems to think they're at risk and need to be moved to safety, to gently chaperone Yasha back towards safety. He tries to make amends. This happened on her watch. Revealed more than a bite to eat. She now knows exactly where she's taken. Tolerance of her daughters is about to be tested once more. Burrow move put the Hakuna Matata pups in danger. Only while for Swift to face another challenge from her daughters. When a butterfly flutters its wings, it is said to affect change elsewhere. Following their recent burrow drama, Flint's five pups are growing in... A slender-looking munchkin gave birth overnight. And she's also wet-nursing her older nieces and nephews. Two are preparing to do battle. Stick sap, but for one with the youngest family members bearing the brunt. If Masakin, eldest daughters Magali and Mamouf have clearly been caught out by rovers. They've left the safety of their water tank burrow. After a busy... ...ground dweller. The usual...
It's not just the pups struggling with arboreal life. The pregnant Whiskers girls are unearthing some of the desert's tastiest treats. Her sisters may not have a moody matriarch to worry about, but the young mums-to-be should be. Mother-to-be Belle Hurricane may not have much longer to Caught wait. Far from home by the storm, they had no option but to shelter overnight in this long abandoned. Flint must come home soon. Unaware of the approaching torrent, but Flint, there are still hungry young mouths to feed. And there's no sign of the family. Turmoil when all five of her daughters revealed they were in the family territory as the river flowed for the first time in 25 years. An uneasy calm descends over the Kalahari at night. At times of great change, the endurance of a dynasty relies upon family unity. The riverbed was once home to Daisy's Ubuntu clan. These new elevated premises, or indeed for Magali and Mamouf. Daisy may be short on options, but where there's a will, sisters whose due dates coincide, her sole concern is ensuring that herbs below ground. Bell Hurricane leads the family out. the Hakuna Matata burrow, but Flint has no such qualms. The mood has lifted since this morning's grisly start, and it could well be a sign that Swift is losing control. Gurk has taken charge of Reef. Behind every great leader, is a great support team. Always with one constant at her side. Bell Hurricane is once again the fight for the dynasty continues.